How's it going guys, it's Josh here and today I'm going to show you how to clean your mechanical keyboard in 5 easy steps. Because let's face it, they get pretty dirty. Now as you can probably tell, I've been waiting a little while to do this video, my keyboard has gotten pretty bad and we're going to clean it. Just so I don't waste anyone's time, this is more of a routine keyboard cleaning video as opposed to a full tear down and deep clean because you spilled a cup of coffee on it. But either way, let's get to it and make this keyboard look brand new again. Step 1. Remove all of the keycaps. By the way, take a quick picture at this point to give you a reference for replacing the keycaps later. Now most mechanical keyboards come with a keycap puller in the box, so use that if you have one available. If you don't, it can just be done with your fingers in most cases, just be a bit careful to make sure that you pull with even pressure, especially on the stabilised keys as you don't want to risk damaging them. Step 2. Grab a plastic container, some dish soap and some warm water. I found this ice cream tub was the perfect size and it has a lid. Put your keycaps in the container, fill it with the warm water and then add a bit of dish soap. Put the lid on, give it a bit of a shake to get the water and soap moving some of that dirt and then leave them to sit for a little bit while you move on to the next step. Step 3. So next we'll be cleaning the actual key plate. Now again, unless you've spilt a whole cup of coffee on your keyboard, it should be mostly dust and hair. So you can use an old toothbrush to clean between all of the keys. The bristles are pretty stiff so they should do a good job of dragging most of the dirt out. Sometimes little pieces of hair can get stuck on a switch, so use some tweezers to grab them and pull them out. Once most of the dirt and hair is gone, use a q-tip to go between all of the keys again. I find that slightly dampening the end of it as well can help the dust to stick to it a bit better. If there's any sticky residue remaining in places, you can use some isopropyl alcohol on the end of a q-tip to remove it. It can damage some plastic, so just be a bit careful, but most key plates are metal anyway, so you shouldn't have any problems. Finally, grab a damp microfiber cloth to wipe over the palm rest if you have one and any other larger bits of the keyboard chassis. By the time you've finished doing all of that, the key plate should be looking pretty clean. Step 4. Now that our keycaps have soaked in the water for a little bit, we should be ready to finish cleaning and drying them. So ideally, you'd probably want to pour them through a strainer or sieve to get rid of the water and rinse off the excess soap, but chances are, your mum probably isn't going to want you using her best one she uses for cooking for rinsing your grubby keycaps. So you can just cover the top with the lid and pour the water out. Fill it and empty it a couple of times to get rid of any excess soap. Rinse and repeat. Once you've done that, lay a towel out on a table, put them all onto that and give them a quick dry, tipping out any water from the keycaps and then leave them all face up. Now they will take a while to fully dry, leave a window open if you can to speed up the process. Step 5. As long as they are completely dry, we can now begin replacing the keycaps. Use the picture you took earlier and get them all put back on. It takes a little while, but once you've done that, then the job is complete. And there we have it, a clean keyboard. It's a good feeling. If you enjoyed today's video guys, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button, it would make my day. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you all in the next one.